yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Like, Not like friends and stuff. Like people on the street? People on the street for sure do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like people I know? Yeah. A lot of like Jew, which can be problematic. Because they're like <laughs> in the streets, they're like Jew. And people are like, oh my God. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's me. It's like we're, we're friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you have two... Two uh, offensive words in your handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm trying to stack <laughs> as many in as possible. I'll add a third. Give me a third. <laughs> what do you? What should be the third? I'm down. No, because you're a pioneer. Like I started memes, which like gross word, yeah, trigger word. Yeah. But I was like late. I was after you. Fuck Jerry. Therapist says. Yeah. You know. But like you inspired me. Some kid like came up to me on the street whose name was like. Swag Jesus, the drip god, or something, who was like 11. <laughs> and he was like, yo, he was like, he was really, really trying to be nice. Like, he was really trying to feel me, but he, he didn't know how badly he hurt me emotionally because he was like, yo, you're like an OG, man. You're like a legend. Like, when I was a little kid, like, I loved your shit. And I was like, when you were a what? A what? When? Like, yeah. in 2015? <laughs> oh, right. No, in 2015, you were eight. Right. Because now you're 17. Well, because, like, we are. Yes. Spoiler alert, in 2024. You made me feel, I was so washed. And when did moment. you start? Like 2013? They think I'm like the Abraham Lincoln <laughs> of memes. Like that really, they're like this man. No, you died. Yeah. I'm telling you, Which you're sick. Tupac. Honestly, it's incredible. <laughs> um, uh, wait, what did you ask? Oh, you started in 2013. Yeah, something like that. I love like, how I have cards for this. Something like, like these that. Cards yeah, yeah, really yeah. Good no, because before that, I was like doing mostly like weird, super off the wall. I used to like write for Vice and do like really insane, ultra offensive videos um, that were meant for like 600 people that liked Vice. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Like really, like me and like a Hasidic guy, like smoke angel dust and like see what happens. You know what I mean? Wait, th is that a real video that happened? A lot of this shit has like been lost now to time, but yes, that was a real thing. That has been lost to time and removed? I believe so, yes. Really? But then Instagram came out and I was like, wait. And at first I was like, I don't think this is for me because the stuff I was putting up was like so offensive because you can't put up like a stiletto jammed in a urethra and stuff. You know what I mean? Like the stuff I <laughs> that I was- Where were you posting that stuff? I would put it up on Instagram and then they would like take it down. Yeah. And then I got kicked off. And actually originally I was fat Jew, but I kept getting kicked off and they wouldn't give me my handle back. So I kept having to switch. And then I was just like, I guess I'll be fat Jewish. Oh. Yeah. So I was originally fat Jew. So then I threw a protest, which you can still find online. The third time I got thrown off, I chained myself up outside the, the Facebook Instagram offices, which were on like 9th and Broadway at the time. Yeah. And I got like a permit. So I had like cop, you get cops and barricades and like a whole thing. And like my rabbi came and like all these, <laughs> all these freak shows like drove in from Pennsylvania and like come and like, it was a whole rally. And they were like, free fetch. You know? And <laughs> Wait, then, what did you post that, that got you taken down? Like? I don't remember specifically that time, but it was like the third time. And then like 15 minutes after, I was chained up. And I was like, I'm going to be here for days. <laughs> and then like 15 <laughs> minutes later, some girl was like, you're back on. And I was like, no, like refresh your page. And then she was right. I was back on. But then I kind of like learned to play by the rules. And I actually realized that this would like mainstream me in a way that I was never going to be able to do. Like when I was like posting videos of Smoke Angel Dust with hot seeds for Vice. Like going to... Yeah. One time we went to a rave. There's like all these like Puerto Ricans in the Bronx who think they're vampires. Like they sleep during the day and like they have full fangs and they throw raves. I know. It's like a whole... You went? Like you some, went? Yes. And I like hung out with them. But like that, this is like super fringe subculture shit. And I was But like, don't you feel like now, like maybe you were ahead of your yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Now it's much more like yeah. there's a dock on everything. Right. Like there's literally a dock about every <laughs> single subculture on the yeah. planet. You could have just... An Instagram or TikTok yes. dedicated to the vampire. No, it'd be like Puerto, Puerto Rican vampires doing things, and people would be like, <laughs> people would be like, "This is boring." Like I've seen Puerto this, Rican. but at the time, people were like, "Oh, this is like super edgy and like yeah. subculture." But then I was like, "Wait a minute! I actually think this would be sick to go like full. Let's see how far we can take the like offensive name. Like, let's see how mainstream we can go." Yeah, that was so you really went mainstream. Super. You mainstream. were hosting like things for E. All kinds of shit. Like you were, you were I was on E. I hosted like a, I hosted like a an award show. I hosted an iHeartRadio award no, show. No, shut up. All kinds of shit. Yeah, and I presented an award at the VM. Like they said, it was, you know, because I guess at the time, like they were like down. I don't know. A lot of them were like, like, do we have to say fat Jewish? But like they got over it. They got over yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, because like it, it, was, it, was a, it was a thing. Wait, because yeah, your real name is Josh Hora. What? <laughs> Did you just pick a Jewish last name? Josh Horowitz? I think that's the name of like a movie critic on MTV. No. Okay, I'm going to go. Dead. I'm going to head out. 
What what what's your last name? Goldstein <laughs> Sternberger Witz? What did you just make up a name? You were like you're Jewish. It's Horowitz, yes? No, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> Ostrovsky. No. Yes. You don't give Ostrovsky. No, it's trash. No, is it Russian? Yes, my dad oh. was born in Russia. It's oh. one of the trashest. <laughs> I had a kid on purpose now. and uh, It's on your head. His name is on your head, yes, buddy. His name is Buddy. And I gave him... I, I gave him her last name. I saw that. I was like, no, you're not. No one needs this. <laughs> I don't need a Verizon representative Wait, being like, oh, yes. <laughs> like, I can't. You don't need a podcast host getting it wrong. Yeah, no. Wait. Wait. But don't you feel like you should continue the lineage? No. Really? You had nothing of that? No. My brother has like a bunch of like boys. And like they all have the last name. So it'll be fine. Oh, okay. So, so my you... parents were super pissed. Oh, they were annoyed? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his last name is King. Because I was like, look. First of all, you don't give up that kind of last name. Well, I'm talking to like two 75-year-old Jews. And I'm like, you need to understand that this <laughs> child is a brand. Okay? And when you're naming a brand, you don't name it. And they were like, what the fuck is wrong with you? They were like, it's not a brand, it's a you're... child. And I was like, mm, is it though? But you don't post him, so he's not really a brand. No. He goes on Close Friends. You want to get on? Oh, I do. It's Can wild. I? It's loose on there. Oh, my God. Because on there, I, a lot of, I've had group talks being like, guys, if anyone reports me, like, I know all you 212 know. <laughs> of you, and I will come after everyone if something gets reported. Wait, so Instagram, so that means that your shit gets taken down only if people report you? Yeah, pretty much. Not if like... No, now it's like more like AI based. Oh, they have like, okay. They have like so they robots can... that... But it used to be people would like... <laughs> like haters would report you and they'd be like, right. there's a micro penis. And I was like, it's my body. <laughs> like, let me be... Let me show my body. But so... But people don't know about you is that you're smart. I'm... Well, the 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 theory is like set the bar insanely low. Right. And then when they meet you, they're like, oh, you're, you're way... You're less stupid than I thought you were, which is all I'm really going for. <laughs> You went to NYU. I did. Got kicked out, though. I did. Why? But you got in. I mean, that's what yeah, counts. Yeah. You got into I NYU. I was just, like, doing sick shit. Like, I was just, like, doing, like, super college stuff. Um, Actually, NYU I didn't really want to go to because it was actually stupid because I grew up in the city. And I realized while I was there, I was like, wait, like, I, I should be, like, you know, getting a UTI and, like, playing flip cup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the NYU's not Yeah, that. yeah, it's not that. And I was, like, hanging out with, like, the biggest degenerates that I went to high school with. Where'd and, you like, go to high school? Uh, Dwight on the Upper on the upper West Side. Oh, really? A private school? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My parents are doctors. Dr. Dr. Horowitz and Dr. Horowitz. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my two Jewish doctor parents. <laughs> um, but I was like, wait, I want, like, more of that. But then I then they also were like, we don't want you. Wait, private so school in the out. city? Is Dwight all boys? <laughs> no. Wait, so private school in the city is like, what's the vibe? Um, like the world's worst humans. What do you yeah, mean? right. Like insane yeah. human beings. Like I mean, I'm proud that I went to public school in the city. The kids that I know who are going to public school are doing way better. Yeah, like emotionally. <laughs> Like, some of the private school guys make, like, tons of money, but, yeah. like, they are so unwell. Yeah. Like, public school people are much, like, gen I mean, everyone's unwell, but they're less unhinged. Right. And, like, more tethered to Right, the right, right. Um, Wait, but Skidmore is also, like, not the vibes then. No. And he went there, too. So many bad choices. <laughs> So many like bad choices. He went to like kind of nerdy schools for you. So many poor. Wait, choices. so Skidmore? I just think of like Skidmore. They were like, you got to get the fuck. And <laughs> they just was saw like, you. And they just was saw like, you. You're not gonna. You may not be invited. Like it was like a whole. They were like, it wasn't that big of like. They were like, please don't come back. Like we're not gonna stop you, but please don't. Skidmore was like, you need to get <laughs> a taxi. There were and no then Ubers. and then where'd you go? There were no Ubers. Um. So then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go. I was like, what am I doing? Like, why don't I just go full? insanity and just pick the craziest place I can go to school. Yeah. And so I decided to go to SUNY Albany because it's just filled with unbelievable guidos. <laughs> like the world's greatest. That's why guidos. I didn't want to go there. No, that's a, that's a choice. Cause let <laughs> me tell you, cause they had like never met a Jewish guy. Really? Yeah. I mean, there were like Jews there who tried to recruit me when I got there who were like taking Recruit bomb. you as what? Like into like the scene. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're picking a scene. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they were like, you know, crunchy Jews, like taking bong hits with dreads and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I got to get completely out of lane and they were like where are you where are your curls like where's your hat and i was like no i'm not that kind of jew and they were like there's other kinds of jews and i was like this is going to be amazing <laughs> so i had never met like an uncircumcised person and they had never met a jew and so it was kind of like a magical so i joined like a full guido squad of like staten island maniacs wait is that is that when fat jew came up um no, because no not no sort of not really because before any of it i was in i 
I was, I, we like, I was in a rap group and we were signed and like went on tour and like did a whole bunch of wacky shit. And like, we were, we were kind of ahead of our time and there was no social media really at the time. Um, it was like 2008 or nine. I mean, there was, there was like Facebook, yeah. but like we were doing so much awesome, insane shit that now I think would probably have been a huge thing. Yeah. But, um, we, there was no way to like, I mean, maybe it was for the best because some of it was not okay. And by some of it, I mean, all of it was not okay. And then after that, I like, I quit because I was like, I can't do this. We were sort of like, kind of, I don't know. I wanted us to be like full ML LMFAO and just like be ridiculous. I could see that. I tried to do that before they did that. But the guys I was in the group with were like, we're artists, like we're musicians. And I was oh, like, Fuck But right where's off. LMFAO now though? Um, and I'll, uh, the, where are they now? One of them, I think, was hosting like um, like Australia's Got Talent, I believe, at some point. <laughs> well, that's a job. Yeah, it's a job. <laughs> yeah. No, they're like doing stuff. <laughs> doing stuff. Totally. Um, but yeah, we also sucked, but in a different way from LMFAO. Wait, so you graduated, Albany? I did. I graduated. Well, graduated. And then I started doing like – I did the rap thing for a while and then started doing – my fr my good friend uh, Ben Lyons. I don't know if you know who that is. He's a he's like a movie critic. He's a hunk. Great teeth. Um, he was a correspondent on the E Channel. He was like one of the main hosts of a show called The Daily Ten. Um, and their ratings were like completely fucked. And they were like, he was like, here's an idea. Like, put this guy on. Like, in a kimono with like no shirt. And at the time, like, people didn't really, they're just, I don't like, now it's like everyone's doing a wild interview and trying to get someone to punch you. or But like, at the time, no one was really doing it. Right. So I would like crash red carpets or like try to give John Mayer a lap dance and like have his security guard choke me. Uh -huh. And like, the whole point was to like make insane stuff happen because they were like gonna get canceled and like needed some people to talk. And about. they could like live on the edge because they were fearless. I guess, yeah. I mean, they were like, let, they were like, we're going down. So let's put this guy on TV. <laughs> yeah. it, it was a really wild idea. I give them a lot of. They were really ahead of their time, and no one knew who I was at at that time outside of like weird weirdo rap fans. So it was definitely an edgy move. But I like what I got dragged off the red carpet in a speedo for trying to like give Carrie maybe. I think I smelled Carrie Underwood's hair or something from behind. I got like physically removed. Yeah, all kinds of wild shit. It was a lot of like me getting choked. Yeah, but it was good for the show. And then like press would write about it. They and got, then so they got canceled. Did you start your Instagram at that point, thinking like a little bit after that? Yeah, of like because then I was like, let's like I was saying before, I was like, let's let's go mainstream because I'm like there are eight year olds and eighty year olds on this, right? And I was only really talking to like Vice fans who were in their twenties, yeah, like twenty year old edge lords. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I was like, let's see how like let's see how far we can push this because it was almost like a joke. Like let's see where we can go with this, and we it it blew up. We took it way farther. Than, I took it like so much farther than I thought it would go. Really? Yeah, it was like so weird. There were like kids coming up to me. Yeah. Like come, you know what I mean? I just remember this like one like really young girl came up to me she was like yo fat you what's up and I was like what's up <laughs> she was like you're not even really as fat as I thought it's a disappointment <laughs> and I was like what first of all okay first like, of all thanks for, yeah, first of all thanks second of all like kind of fucked up I should get fatter and third of all like, how do you know who I am like you're seven yeah and then I was like oh wait because like Instagram is like that's the thing and this was probably like 2013 right and I, and I was like making I did a I did a video where like homeless people rode right soul, this, like yeah the soul which somebody just did again recently homeless people rode a soul cycle you so did they, a homeless people so, soul cycle class so city bikes like they turn when they're stationary like you can pedal <laughs> So I was like, had like a face mic and was like teaching full spinning classes to homeless people. Cause I was like homeless. I want homeless people in New York to have like dick lines and like Wait. threaded abs. Wait, how did you summon them? Uh, we just like went around in the street. Stop. Yeah. And we're like, you, you, you're, you're hot. You could be hot. And, <laughs> and they were like, great. And then you made a video and it went like crazy. It went super crazy. Yeah. And it's funny cause now that's like, it's good. I'm really glad. Like that's all the kids do now. Yeah. But back then it was just. Before then people weren't doing like wild things. No, it, it was it just wasn't as wild. That's but right. But a lot of your stuff was, were memes. Were you into like writing and stuff? Yeah, 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 Because yeah. I had written in between rap and, like, during, like, the E time, I uh, wrote a bunch of, like, wrote a bunch of pilots and, like, a bunch of shit. And you wrote a book. I did write a book. Yeah. I didn't really want to write a book, but they were like, here's so much money. And I was like, <laughs> okay. So then I, like, wrote a book. Yeah. And then they were like, what? It was actually a good story because I was like, how can I sell the most? Because I wanted to get, I wanted to be number one in the New York Times bestseller list. Did you get it? No. And actually, I got um, the complete opposite. I'm banned for life. <laughs> Because I threw a rave. I partnered with Four Loco. I'm very good friends with the guy who invented Four Loco. Like, uh -huh. mixed it in his bathtub. Like, whatever it is. Like, the poison <laughs> that it is. And I threw a rave, and you got free Four Loco, and you got a free book. 
And it was like, I did like three of them. And I think I must have, with that as sales, Four Loco bought like 30,000 books and we gave them all away. And I was like, I'm getting millennials to read. Yeah. Um, and then the, and then we submitted and the New York Times was like, you sold 30,000 books. Like the next the next highest one was like eight. Yeah. It was like no one reads a book. Right. And they were like, something is not right here. And so they like looked into it and then they were like, oh, you can't do that. You can't give your books away to rave and you're banned for life. So honestly- Kind of proud of that. That's <laughs> you're pretty like, sick. You're like, at least it's I'm on some kind of list. That's what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> I'm on the blacklist. Yeah. Like I'm down. I'm really down. It was, I think it was like a disappointment to my parents because they like never have they like so hard for them to understand what I'm doing. Yeah. And any I mean, this man was born in Russia. Like he's literally <laughs> like, what are you doing? I'm like running around in a woman's bathing suit. Like, yeah. You know, like making they can't. They, they can't. Were, he was like, what are like be a podiatrist? Wait, and what's your brother like then? The honestly, it sounds like a bit, but it's really not. Like, like nerdy? Direct gene split down the middle. Super buff. Used to be an amateur bodybuilder. No. Huge dick. We always say we like <laughs> split the genes down the middle. He's like not unfunny, but he's like not, he's like a kind of a, he's an adult man. Yeah. Um, Who like worked at the Pentagon for a long time and had like. Wait, did you ever have a real job? Not one time. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. No, no not one time. Zero did you walk times. into an office and have like. I No, no literally I'm not sure. Oh no, I worked at a pet store once okay. for like two months. <laughs> <laughs> but now no one has jobs. I invented right. <laughs> not having a job, just for the record. But like you got to think for a Russian radiologist, he was just like, you are like oh a God. homicidal homosexual maniac <laughs> from outer space. And like, this is bad. Like you're, this is really. Did your mom get it more? So my mom is like a, my mom like has like a lot of, she's like got a whole army of like gay Asians and she wears like, she's very upper West side. She has like, mm. you know, glasses that are like yellow and purple with like chunky statement. Necklace. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of like a Luann vibe, but like more garbagey. Yeah. yeah like springs <laughs> and rusty shit. So she was kind of like, yes, like live your dreams, like be a woman, do whatever you want. But also. Also, like, can you do it on the weekends? Because, like, what if? Like, try, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, what if you had a job? Totally. Like, a regular job, and then— She was like, I love it, live it, but, like, what if it was on the weekend? And I was like, okay, this is a better approach. You're like, no, I'm commit. You're committed. They just didn't get it. And then later, they were just like, what the actual fuck? Like, what is real? Like, how is this possible? It yeah. was really crazy to watch two boomers be like, what? Like, watch the future descend yeah. onto them in real time. And they just were like— can't understand. So they put all their hopes and dreams into the other kid. Wait, so <laughs> when you say that you went down to the bunker because you made a lot of money, this is from your drink company, right? You yeah. had the White Girl Rosé. So we did White Girl Rosé and then we had a cake. We put out, we decided to be like the first real like. First of all, White Girl Rosé popped off. Super. Like, like that was like before was everybody was so doing. So we hadn't even bought, we were like, let's just put it out. Let's mock up a bottle pour other rosé into the bottle and make it look, we had zero rosé. We didn't own any rosé. We just made the label and made the bottle with like, we poured like a bottle. Just because the name was good. Put it out on Instagram and then Fresh Direct called like a day later and was like, we need 20,000 bottles. And we were like, definitely like we got you from the warehouse. And then we were like, we need <laughs> the to, warehouse. no, and then we were like, we need to make rosé. Like right now, like where do we, we're going to have to get some rosé to do this. Because at the time, like, there was no brand of rosé, right? Like, people were like, give me rosé, give me something pink. Like, I'm going to a pool party. But no one cared about a brand, really. Yeah. Especially, like, young people who were just getting fucked up. Yeah. Like, the rosé wave was, like, really – So I was like – Right. I was like, you know, you make, like, vodka and shit. Like, people know what they like. You know what I mean? People are like, I like Tito's. I like Grey Goose. Right, but like, right. rosé, you were just like, make it pink, make it cute. Right, right. You didn't know. You didn't give a fuck about a brand. So I was like, you know what? Let's just completely lean into this. We then ended up doing carbonated rosé in a can. That that's babe now? Babe. And then wait, it's still babe. So babe. You sold that when you said you sold stuff. You sold babe. I sold babe to and white girl. Well, white white girl doesn't exist anymore. Oh, okay. They it turned into they like dissolved it. Okay. I sold it to Anheuser Busch, like to Budweiser. Oh wow. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're like, no, a lot of money. No, no, no. Yeah, like no. a lot of money. No, like, I, no, 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 like And then I was like, I want to just do eccentric shit for like a few years. And I also But without like, anybody knowing, so how does it count? Right. No, because honestly, because I'm that was kind of what I was into. Because I was like, everyone's just sharing everything. Also, yeah. some of the things I was doing are like not suitable for like Gen Z consumption. You know what I mean? Like they would be so upset. <laughs> like some of the things would be like not okay. Like they're just not. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm, you know. Wait, you left New York. I left New York. I do, I live in Miami, but I have an office here because like it's the sluttiest place on the planet. And and you need to be where it's sluttiest. I just like it's just so dumb there. Like, yeah. It's like incredible. <laughs> um, but I have an office here, and like I like to smoke cigarettes on the street with my friends from high school. Yeah, but, like I can't let that go. So you come back. But I also had a kid, and I was like, you know what? Like I should probably, I guess, be around. 
your sort parents of. a little bit? What? Oh, around your kid. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I like did the thing, like took acid, traveled around, like did ridiculous, you know, Hansel from Zoolander shit, whatever. And then at some point I was like, all right, I'm going to like try to actually be an adult parent, man. Are you? Yeah, I mean, kind of. Like, I'm making, like, insane – like, my background is, like, my kid with, like, a cigarette in his mouth. You know what I mean? And, like, I'm, like, I make insane content. And you, he has a mullet, I saw. He has a mullet. Is I that because like, of you or your – That's oh, – You're that's, not married, right? You're no, just It's together. all because of me. Um, No, I am married. Oh, you guys got married? We did get married. We got married. Here, let me show you. So, like, I, like, covered him in, like, fake blood and put him in a cage. Like, I got to get content out of this. Where is this happening? On Close Friends? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Add me. Also, I'm putting – I'm doing a series where I put him in different trash cans. Like, No, you're not. Yes. And but, I, but but this is just for fun for you, Kids then. are garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, like, making money off this. <laughs> but now <laughs> I've – but now he's, like, about to go to school. Because um, how old? He's three years old. Yeah. So he's, like, going to go to school. Yeah. So I'm on some, like, okay, time for me to, like, get – I'm going to, like, get back in the mix. Yeah. So now I'm getting back in the mix. Wait, what kind of mix? I bought a monster truck league. And I'm become I'm going into, like, monster trucks. Because, like, nothing's more cool than monster Wait, trucks. Wait. And, like, everyone to, loves – To race them? Yeah, it's, like, a whole league. It's, like, Monster Jam. But, like, we're going to – Oh, you're going to be a driver? No. I'm, like, the – I'm going to be, like, the guy. The, the sponsor? <laughs> I'm not, I'm like the owner. Like, I'm on some like talking shit, like promoting it. Yeah. Wait, is this happening? Like already? Vince McMahon before he like shit in that person's hair the other day. Wait, that's did. in the works. I already bought it. The Monster Truck. Bought a Monster Truck League. It's a real thing. Oh, a whole league you bought. Oh, yeah. I own trucks. I got the whole thing. Does that happen in Florida? They're based in Grand Rapids, Michigan. But I'm okay. but like, I don't know. Your kid likes monster trucks? He's got it. Yeah. Actually, he wants that for his Here's fourth birthday. Everybody likes monster trucks. I don't I didn't even know he knew what they it was. Yep. And I said, uh -huh. What do you want your fourth birthday to be? And he goes, Monster trucks. Yo, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, I'm serious. And like adults like it. Like it's impossible to not like a monster truck. It's right. so fucking sick. Yeah. So I'm gonna be like, you know, I'll be like, I don't know. I'm gonna like stand on top of the trucks and scream, and we're gonna go completely nuts. But what about like the internet? Um, like your like, like your Instagram, like doing my Instagram. Yeah. What are we? What are you gonna do at this point? You want to be a creative director? Like what? <laughs> it's all been done. Yeah. Like what am I supposed to Except do? Except I always laugh because you do pop in and and post post some memes from time to time. Now I like I'll hit stories. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, the stories. Yeah. I go and you'll post like you're obsessed still with Ben's back tattoo. Well, no, I'm just obsessed with Ben. <laughs> you want to talk about Ben? Affleck? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ben Affleck is our only good celebrity. Stop. Well, not counting like. Sonia Morgan and like Karen from Real Housewives of Potomac. <laughs> like those are the three greatest celebrities. Wait, we why have. is he the best? Because he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. So one thing I do still do is I'll go to like if they're gonna throw cool celebrity parties and I can still go, like yeah. I'll go because I wanna like look. Like I so like he's just at every party, like smoking cigarettes and being like, I hate it here. Yeah. Like everyone else is like, this is such a good time. Yeah. Like everyone's posturing and having a great time. He's on some like I literally <laughs> gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. But why does he go? I don't know. <laughs> but he's like smoking and just yeah. looking so pissed. Yeah. Also, he only speaks Spanish at home. No, he doesn't. Yes. His middle name is like something weird. Look up his middle name. He, is, he has Spanish in him. He's apparently spoken fluent Spanish for like the last 30 years. And no, he only there were. The there was something going around that like people were saying he speaks better than J Lo. He does. There was no, no, that's like a thing. <laughs> no, his Spanish. Wait, is like what's his middle name? Yeah. Fire. Great. <laughs> ben Affleck, low-key Latino. No one knows. I, that's what, so do you get angry? No, for real. Like, when you see everyone being like, he's so angry, and at award shows, they zoom in, and the memes, like, I don't you feel like standing up for him? No. Because, like, what? This is, like, what you have to do. This is why being famous is trash. Yeah. It's a trash time to be yeah. famous. Yeah. It really, really is. Yeah. Like, I have some, like, legit celebrity for, like most of the people that I would ever know from entertainment are like the most Z-list celebs <laughs> like I surround myself with like only people like me like full Z-list no that's not true you have celeb friends but the ones I have that are actually celebs yeah. they're like this 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 sucks like the cool people you can't do anything the cool people would think that it sucks yeah and also you're just like everyone is you know everyone's a paparazzi and like it's just like you're at yeah. like everything's everywhere like you can't and like I get it like you're rich so there's like everyone's like boohoo fuck you like yeah. deal with it but right. it's definitely not that fun it's not yeah no and you can't like barf all over the place and like, right. you know what I mean like sick shit celebs used to do but I feel like you do need to be like obviously you have this like personality what do you think I should be doing like I feel like you should be talking more 
I'm down, yeah, but then like, like you should have a podcast. You know what I mean? No, they really like, early on like podcasting. Like you should, right? Like how did it, how like did now, you? How many podcasts? Right now would be lame. How many? No, podcasts? no, it would be so lame. If you came out with a podcast, now it would be like, are you so late stage? <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm dropping a podcast? That's nuts. You're like everyone. Hold on. No, that's literally insane. That's an insane <laughs> thing to do. Be- I had a show on Sirius for a long time. Um, I could see, yeah. I on a, on, but it was on like Diplo has a channel. Diplo um, has a channel. He does called like. Diplo's rev dance revolution, <laughs> like something insane. And he gave me a show and he was like, you can do whatever you want. And not that many people were, it wasn't like, because there's obviously a billion channels. Yeah. And like, who's listening to Sirius? And like, who's subscribed? Right. Like you have to subscribe. Yeah. And, but they let me do anything I want. So I was like prank calling Bono, like any phone numbers I could get my hands on. <laughs> prank calling celebs has been like a gift. Like it's been one Wait, of Wait, how my do you get their numbers? Variety of ways. I used to get them a lot from like, girls, especially male celebrities from like women that they had had sex with like yeah. seven years. We were like, so then I would, we'd like get drunk and we'd like talk about this and they'd be like a bunch of lychee martinis in and be like, do you want like, <laughs> and then just like, fill. wait, were you getting a lot of girls like, during your height of Gordon time? Levitt's number? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was like, yeah, I was like, we were having, like partying and yeah, I was having fun. I mean, at one point, Four Loco fully sponsored me, so like things were completely out of control. Yeah, and I like was blackout drunk all the time and had diabetes at like two <laughs> o'clock in the afternoon at a pool party in Tucson. And then also, then the rose happened, and I had to like walk around every party with a bottle with a straw and I like drinking the entire bottle. So there are years that are gone, but <laughs> it was it was pretty fucking fun. But what's net? Like, so I'll own a monster truck league. I'm gonna do that, go yeah. crazy with it. But then, like, what kind of celeb stuff should I just like? What should I do? I know. What is there left to do? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. You can't like get DUIs and stuff anymore. <laughs> you can't do shit. Wait, are you obsessed with Lindsay Lohan? Yes. So, yeah. what do you think about her comeback? Everything about her has always been incredible. Really? Never. Wait, not- how many mugshots does she actually have? Six. Wait, like, those are for real but, the different times she was in but, jail? Look how fucking incredible she is. No, she, she actually, that is wild. Like, no shit. And, like, the spray tan is kind of the same in every— No shit on anyone in this room, but go to jail, get a mugshot, and you will not be— <laughs> Like, she's, like, fucking going off. She looks incredible. She really does look good. What? are for, Have you hung out with her? Are you serious? She was, like, one of these celebrities— I, I DM'd with her a bunch of times, but a lot of the— a, 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 not a lot, but, a, but there were a bunch of celebs who were like scared of me because uh-huh. they thought that like the minute I got that I was going to do something like insane and like try to like you know whatever like yeah. troll them yeah 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 like Kim has Kim will moonwalk out of any room that I'm really this bitch will moonwalk directly <laughs> out of the room on some just like bye because she's just like what's he gonna do I don't want to be part of this yeah like, like what's the big fat clown baby man gonna do to me to like get Instagram views wait yeah. Some of them, most of them didn't, but some of them were like, no. And Lindsay, remember her, remember the accent? That was wild for a minute. Incredible. No, she turned straight. Like she was yelling in Arabic. Like she was in a desert. Some kid was running away. She was, all it was like sudden, a whole she thing. Was British. She was like an Emirati. <laughs> I talked to her mom a lot I on think Facebook. She's, I think she's still an Emirati. She's an Emirati. <laughs> She, like, got – but then she, like, came back to America and was like, I'm Lindsay Lohan from Long Island. And everyone was like, what? I thought you were British Emirati. I talked to her mom on Facebook, Dina. Dina is, like, a treasure. Does she spill the tea? No, she oh, will not. But we, no like, tea. talk about her boyfriend and, like, her – I don't know. What, are you her therapist? Yeah, kind of. It's more of, like, a therapy situation. But we don't talk about Lindsay. Wait, so we started talking um, because of Hillstone. I want yep. to get a, give a minute to Hillstone. You're wearing Hillstone merch. Man-made. You made it. Man-made. <laughs> Man-made. Uh-huh. Not Hillstone made. Uh-huh. And you still – you don't get the respect, you're saying. No, because Hillstone – Like thing. not an app? They won't send you an app? When you're as killer as Hillstone, <laughs> you ride no one's dick. They ride no dick. <laughs> I know you can't. Like you have no – No, they don't shock anybody. I'm telling you, Benny Hanna now in a couple locations know me. And when I come in, they're like, oh, my God. And they gave me like custom ch- uh, chopsticks with yeah. my name engraved on uh-huh. them. And they did a home bocce at my house where they brought a – they did a whole Benny Hanna at my house. Walking to Hillstone, they're on some, like, <laughs> sir, like, shut the fuck up. No, like, they're on some, like, first of all, like, you're welcome. Yeah. And second of all, like, it'll be three and a half hours. Like, and I'm on some, like, mm, and they're like, are you serious? Isn't it funny in New York where they'll look you dead in the eye and say, like, it'll be three and a half hours? Dead serious. Like, they're literally, like. She'd be like, no, but she'd be like, it, it could it could be 3.15. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay. okay. The ones <laughs> They'll just Miami, wait around the corner. Miami then. has two, and they're easier to get into. Yeah. So it's like more of a thing. But so the reason we – so the update now – have you had it? So the, the reason we like oh. really started connecting spiritually – Oh, me and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was is, because they took 
the they took the uh, the steak out of the Thai steak noodles. I know, but you lost me in that you think that the pork is good. I haven't tasted it yet, but I do something Jewish in me. I'm not kosher at all. Like I'll eat bacon, right. but like straight up pork shreds like mm-hmm. haven't been my vibe. Well, when you say it like, like pork <laughs> shreds, yeah, like How like do they call it like damp pork <laughs> shreds. No, they call it's like pulled and it's pork. Good. It's not, oh, pulled pork. Here's yeah, the thing. nothing will ever be the steak in the Thai steak noodle salad. Like we're never gonna get back to glory. Yeah, but the fact that they were just for a while, I'm they hungry. Put, they were putting chicken in it. Like the disrespect. Wait, is there a Hillstone in Florida? There are two in Miami. Well, here's oh. so, so what I'm doing. So that's is why that you went to Miami. Me, that's why I went to Miami because there's two <laughs> equidistant from my house. <laughs> now I'm like it's slutty and stupid. You're like there's two hills. <laughs> yeah, but now what we're trying to do, me and my me and my wife, is we're trying to go to every. Because there's Hillstones, there's Houston's, and right. there's the Grill Series. The Beverly Grill, which they have in there's LA. There's a lot of Grill Series. Oh, there's, okay. Oh, yeah. So I just went to Colorado, and I did. I was able to do three properties, like, in two days. Like, I went to Hill. Wait, when you say me and my wife were doing, yeah, I know yeah. this is a silly question. No. You're just doing it. It's, it's not for, like, any content. No. <laughs> it's not for a real, no. it's not for a dick. T- like, that's just your, no. what I you're doing. I think that might just be, like, my age, too. Like, just, like, I'm, I think I'm from partially from like a, a bit of an era where like not all every single stupid thing you did yeah. had to like be shared with everybody. Yeah. Some of it I'm just like I'm just doing so to like you, be at because I'm actually like living this dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing is a lot of the like people you meet who make content, they're not actually right. that interesting or fun. Right. Like some of them are right. brain dead and they're just like, what's the next thing for you? You know content? what's wild is like when you discover that part, that's when you're like, this is, I remember going on like a, somebody that I thought was like an industry friend, but I hadn't met her in real life. I go on her podcast and I walk in, I go down the stairs and I'm actually excited because I've never seen her, but I, I'm being filmed walking down the stairs and I'm like, hey. And then she's like, hey. And then hugs me. And she's like, okay, can you do that again? And I was like, yeah, the, yeah. What, oh. the walking in part that I thought was just me walking in. Yeah. So when you find that out, totally. that even sometimes you're watching something like, Two people meet and it looks like it's for the first time. Yeah. It might not be. And like a lot of your, a lot of these, like I'm not going to name names, but a lot of these like meme guys who came out like, yeah. after me, like big meme accounts. Yeah, were, like the people were like they're funny, they're hilarious. The minute you put them on camera, right. they're like, uh, like they're literally like basically right. live in their mom's basement, right? And they're not funny and they're not turned up and they're right. not anything. They're but just, that's like, okay for memes. It's okay, right? But, although, it, dep- it depends if you want to be like front facing yeah, or not. I think sometimes like. I don't know. I think people just thought a lot of these guys were funny. Oh, yeah, and yeah, And then they were like, hi. And they were like, oh, my God, you run the, like, funny meme account? Like, why are I you so special to who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. you guys have to listen to this because Josh's emails, because when we were emailing about booking this, have the funniest signatures, and I have to tell everybody what they are because they cracked me up every time and made me less mad about all the changes he made to our— Okay, no, stop. I did not feel <laughs> diva. I got COVID. <laughs> I got late stage COVID, which is so pathetic. Getting COVID that in 24 is, really is so it's like having like, don't even tell people. It's like starting a podcast. <laughs> like don't get COVID in 24 and don't start a podcast. Like, how dare you? It's not 2020. Wait, do you create the signature every time? Or yes. is it automatic no, dumb I take, shit? I take email super serious. Stop. Like, I know a lot of people are like email and like uh, whatever, but I think I emails kind no, of. No, okay, you guys, these are I a few. The, I put the time in. These are a few. One one of the signatures was. Um, absolutely cannot stop thinking about this photo of Kelly Ben Simone in 1999. It has shaken me to the very core of my being. Have you? Seen, are you gonna, Wait, can you like show this photo? Is this a prince or something? I don't know. Who's this dude? Like, no, I'm gonna. I'll who, post it. Like, I don't understand. Like that. She's with a puppy. She's at a gala. I don't know. It's insane. Oh, another <laughs> another email sign off is Chris Jenner with the deuces at Tao. Like. <laughs> That is that funny. Oh, you didn't notice the Tau? Oh, yeah. Like a Tau 2011. Yeah. Oh, my God. Love, Chris. Oh, Love. my God. When people take pictures in front of, like, the Nobu sign in Malibu, do you die? Definitely. Die. People love doing that. So this is signed off Juzin, <laughs> Juzin Sarandon. Yeah. And this one cracks me up. Yes. Well, because people it's, don't know. Because it's really a never forget thing. Okay, so this email sign off was... <laughs> <laughs> Please never ever forget that Nick Cage has an adult goth. Son. Although I found out recently he's not that he's <laughs> now he just recently switched. He's not goth? No, he's a real estate broker. No. Yeah, his name is Weston, but he was goth. He was in you a You guys, ba- what do you mean goth? He was no, he white was, face paint. Yes. No, like in a band <laughs> called like Satan's Anus. Yeah. Like no. he was in like a band that was like rah, 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 like and no one knew. 
Nick like, Cage has such a weird life. He's the best guy. You oh, he read, is? Have you ever read like the stuff he's bought? Oh my God. You ever read that? No. It's like a list of things that he bought. Most of them I think he's had to sell now because he has like no money, but he bought like. Oh, you think he has no money? That's why he has to, he makes like 18 movies a year like that are direct to DVD that you never heard of. Wait, that's still like a mill of pop, no? He bought no? like two islands, like 17 oh, okay. dinosaur <laughs> skulls. No, he bought a dinosaur skull that turned out from like some black market, like Serbian like uh, artifact dealers. <laughs> yeah. And it turned out to be stolen from like a museum in Eastern Europe and they had to give it back. And he oh my God. The, he didn't get the money back. He lost like two and a half million dollars. No. Plus, how much money did he spend on Coke? Like he's just a, he's a He's a weirdo. He's incredible. I met him once and like he freaked me out, but he's great. <laughs> he freaked you out? Yeah. Just was like, he's just like not a person. He's like a weirdo. He's not a person. Okay, and you said you had stories about Leo. You did say he got fingered at a nightclub. What? <laughs> that was one of your emails. Signature. About Leo? DiCaprio. I do, but like, I don't know. I think I rethought it. <laughs> you I, don't want to tell I think us. I reconsidered my position. <laughs> In what way? I just like, I don't know. Like, well, you became closer with Leo. That's what happened. I became closer with <laughs> Leo. It. Like, since. <laughs> like, since that email. You're. Oh, since I think I have so many sick stories, but then it's just like, everything is like. I know. Someone's going to hit me. Maybe when you're l older, you're Here's saying. Here's one thing I will. I like, will. you'll do a tell-all at like 77. A lot of these guys, like, they're super boring, but like, I think a lot of them think they can like, really open up to me and or like, do crazy shit around me because I'm not uh, judge. Yeah. But also, I am. And also, I'm going to tell people. <laughs> like for like a hundred percent for sure. Yeah. So like one, I get it. One so if thing, they see you at like the club, yes, right. And they'll like totally. go why they'll like get turned. They'll be like, here's the thing I'm into. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yes. Like remember I told you about unnamed celeb in one of my email about uh, I DM'd you and we were talking about there was an unnamed celeb who has like a baby fetish. Do you remember? No, you didn't tell me that. Yes, I did. They someone Maybe Instagram blocked that. A big that. celeb who has like a baby fetish and wants to be in like a diaper and like get breastfed and like all this stuff. And they like told me back because they're like, this guy will get it. Like, And like you don't get it. No, like <laughs> I'm going to talk about this on a podcast. <laughs> like I'm going, like I don't know what you're doing. They're like, I can trust you, right? I know you. And I'm like, first of all, no, you don't know me. Like yeah. we've met three times. Yeah. Second of all, do not trust me. Talk to anyone I know. Like I'm not, <laughs> I am absolutely not the guy. But one thing that was happening recently was that with the whole cancellation of Diddy, you know, Diddy got canceled. with Because of Cassie? Like she abortion. took it back, though. I know, but, like, it's unclear. So he, but this was something I've been talking about for years because he, it's, like, a, now a documented thing that I saw him, like, at a party in Miami. Like, I was at a party in Miami that I should not have been at, like, some real black excellence shit that <laughs> I was not deserving to be at, but I went with a DJ. Yeah. And I took ecstasy, and I ended up wandering around in some mansion on Star Island, and I end up walking, I guess it was his mansion, and I end up, it's all, like, just hot, it's all hot black people. Yeah. Like, and then just like one moron with an afro. And everyone's like, how do Oh, right. When you had an afro. They're like, whose man is this? <laughs> yeah. But I came in and I basically saw him. I walked in a room I shouldn't have walked into. And I saw him like hooking up with a dude. Basically, like full spooning situation. This guy, Felix the house cat, who's like a producer. Whatever. I then told the story on a podcast. And then his people called me and were like, you need to say you were joking. Like, say you're a funny guy. And like, you made it up for the yeah. views. And I was yeah. like, but I, no, but I did not. I saw it. And he saw me when I came in. Were you like, like a little scared? Yes. Yeah, because everyone in the room like stopped. Because I opened the door and was like, is this the bathroom? And everyone was like, no, this is a room where like celebrities, like male celebrities hook up. <laughs> it's like some glitterati shit. Yeah. Um, and then he basically had people call me and like threaten me and like tell me that if I didn't take it back and say I was joking. And you still didn't take it back? Used, no. Why? And then I talked about it on Hot 97 and they wouldn't air it. Um, Ebro, who does the morning show on Hot 97, they so Hot 97 always kept me on a pre-record because they were like, what are you going to say? <laughs> yeah. They would never let me do a live interview. And I told the story and then afterwards he was like, I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to run this interview because like Diddy's insane and he'll, like he blew up Kid Cudi's car and all this shit. So and I, and I, I was feel like, like you did that on purpose. Like you're like, you wanted to see if he what he'd do to you. No, I wanted to get killed by Diddy. <laughs> but now, he, now everyone just found out that he like blows up people's Kid Cudi finally told the story. Oh, he I've did? been saying this for years. I've been like, yo, oh, Kid Cudi is cute, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> like fuckable? <laughs> Yeah. No, like, he seems like a good guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, like, he's, you know, the original, like, sort of, like, he kind of invented, like, anxiety, depressed rap. Yeah, yeah, Because no one, like, was doing that. And then he was like, I'm sad and, like, on, like, medication. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, like, everyone And then was, like, Logic did it. A lot um, of people, like, started being, yeah, like, yeah. I'm sad and, like, I like. But he was the first one to be, like, I'm on Wellbutrin. Yeah. Um, but I've been talking about this Diddy shit for years, and now it's, like, out there and— Are they here? Oh, they're waiting? Oh. Okay. I just like completely. That's what happens when you're 35 minutes late. 
First of all, I was 25 <laughs> minutes. Was I 35 minutes? No, I was not 35 <laughs> minutes late. Okay. Also late with the Starbucks. Disrespectful. <laughs> but I but but I pre oh my God, but late. I pre-ordered it on oh, the app. The digital. Because I know the one on Lafayette. Okay. So I was like, I That's ran kind. in. It was like That's a two kind. second. The Uber dropped me off in front of the I'm telling you. Okay. Uh, that was because I was like, ooh, if I Wait, walk in the there late with a Starbucks, <laughs> like the disrespect. Being like, sorry guys, traffic. And they're like, you have a Starbucks. Okay. So a few quick opinions of yours okay. I want. Okay. Hot takes. Hot takes. Great. What do you think of Taylor and Travis? Um, I I actually like love I love Taylor Swift a lot. Um, the word on the street with her, which I think is super impressive, is that like when you're that like she's our only modern day celebrity who's this famous, right? right. Like she's old school famous. Yeah. Like people, like she's like Beatles, like people right. fall out and like start barfing, like, right. like oh. I can't believe she's here. And like 300 people show up at right, right, a right. restaurant. It's wild. Everything's so diluted now. Like people don't get famous like that right. anymore. The word on the street from someone I'm very good friends with that is friends with her, um, was like at her birthday dinner and shit, is that she is like an actual person and a human <laughs> being, which is really nuts. Because I don't know if you've ever met anyone who's been this famous. Yeah. You are immediately insane. Yeah. Like your whole brain is lobotomized. She but yeah, she does seem normal. No, she's like cool and not weird and like down to hang out and like has jokes and will like put your hand in water while you're sleeping and like make you pee your pants. <laughs> like is cool at a sleepover. Yeah. Which is literally insane because if you're that famous, you're immediately a cyborg from outer space. Yeah. So if that is so true. So we're giving more props. Then super, super fun. Wow. Um, Travis Kelsey. Is he I, deserving? What's his dick game like? What's his, you think he has a big dick? I don't know yeah. if he gives BD. I, I feel like he's got a very normal dick. Like <laughs> super, like just like, oh, there's a white guy's dick. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could see that. She's like six. Yeah. You know, oh, like, speaking of six. dick, do you think that Timothy Chalamet has a big one, right? I, I'm not sure why you're giving it sort of a, a Ben <laughs> Affleck like Hispanic. French. That was not French. <laughs> That's your French? You said oh oh sorry it's Timothy. You said Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> no, it's it's actually I saw this in a clip yesterday. It's yes, Timothy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that was way better. It was weird. You don't do accents. <laughs> you know, it seems like you don't do a ton of accents. He has a big one. Oh, he's got a hot. Yeah, yeah, actually, for sure. that I know for a fact. Oh, stop. Yes, that I know for a fact. And him and Kylie, I know guys. together. First of all, you know what's so funny about them is like it's the, like the old adage that like white dude who's been dating like white girls with no ass and gets see an ass one hiney and are, <laughs> it's same thing with Bezos. Bezos sees one hiney and is like wah 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 wah. You like lose your whole mind. You fall into a butt and Jeff Bezos is like take all my money. You know what I'm saying? Like because you've never seen a fat, you've never seen a dump truck. Like, think about, like, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife's yeah. ass flat. Timothy Chalamet was dating, like, models. Right, like, he was dating, like, Lily Rose Depp, no ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, Polish models <laughs> who, like, have no Heine game whatsoever. So he's in it. No, and then he, like, experiences thickness. And yeah. And like, wah, 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 like, <laughs> a, a wooga, and, like, loses his yeah, whole yeah, yeah. Like, And you can see when these white guys are into it, because every pap pick will be, like, the hand on the uh, butt. Like, they're never going to let go of that butt. So horned up. Like, no, because I think people thought he was, like, a little kind of, like, eight, like, like a little sort of, like, fancy boy who yeah. wasn't horny. Yeah. Like, into no, he's horny. What? The horniest. <laughs> he's the horniest. The dude is, like, jazzed up. Oh, my and God. Now that he's experienced a tushy. Yeah. Prosthetic or not. Yeah. Man is gone. He's fallen okay, into that tushy. Okay, last one. We'll Gigi and that. Bradley. <laughs> They don't give sexual, let right? Just, let me just say, that man, yeah, he is gay. I heard that, no, you no, guys. No. I know. I don't. I that mean, man, we don't out people, but I can't no, no. tell you. Let me tell you, if you didn't know that, that's like that's so. But so what? We believe in this world where people do things like, for press and need, for yes, kind of. He uh, needs to be gay. He'd be way better. We're not outing him. <laughs> like it's way worse that he's straight. He's so trash. Like what? The, all right, I'll give you the okay. final story here. Final not, story, guys. Which is like definitely like I promise that I wouldn't like to like go super <laughs> deep on anyone, but this one's so wild. Okay. So I knew an ex-girlfriend of his, and she basically was like, yeah, like got drunk post breakup and was like, I can classic situation. Like I was telling me, she yeah. was like, I can trust you. And I was like, <laughs> No. And she's like, right. And I'm like, are you listening to me? I'm saying no. And she's like, but I'm saying, like, we know each other. And I'm like, we really don't know each other that well, lady. No names. Okay. She's like, he he will only butt fuck me. And I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean only? And she's like, I, we've been dating for a very long time. And like, we've had vaginal sex an unbelievably small amount of times. And I'm like, what? but is that a thing for gay guys who have sex with women? Like, I don't they, know. I don't never heard of that. He's just butt fucking all. First of all, no one likes butt fucking. <laughs> 
I think gay guys do. No, I'm saying gay men do. But oh, like, yeah. Women don't. We're right. No woman No likes, woman enjoys You it. have to be a man getting butt fucked so that your like, prostate's getting, and then your face Whoa. goes numb. It's nice. It's like supposedly really fun and nice. But for women, nobody likes it. No, that. right. Because we don't have the thing. But like, she was like, only for years. And I was like, what? That is so mental. Did that solidify it for you though? Yes. Because I had, okay. like heard it. And then I'm like, he's just keeping up appearances, but he just like wants to So stuff. why would Gigi do it? He wants this stuff, but I don't know. Great question. PR dating an A-lister? No idea. I hung out with her. She she directed the Cake by the Ocean video that I was in. Uh-huh. And she was actually one who was like surprisingly pretty lit. Some, yeah, she seems cool. Sometimes you just don't know. Like the most litty ones are super snooze alert. Yeah. And then, like the most boring ones, you're like, oh, you're actually like super weird. Yeah. And like into stuff. Yeah, she was like into way more shit than I thought. Ah. Um, so that was cool. But I, what is? what are they doing? I don't know. Yeah. I do not know. But that man is gay. Like Hugh Jackman gay. Like the <laughs> most gay. Like Who is also, he's not out, you know. I know. And let me, on a final, there was a rumor about him and Anthony. On a final note, it's just like all this man, America, all this man <laughs> wants to do is be in musical theater, yeah. and dance, and sing, I know. and be a gay man. But we'd and gladly, we, no, we put we'd him be like down. A, we put him in like a superhero prison and he can't get out of it. No, he's like, he can't. He's on some, like, I have to do the thing with the oh, blade hand. That's sad. Like Wolverine, again. Yeah. All this man wants to do is just be like, yeah. <laughs> and we just won't. Like he we will. I, it's we will. Free Hugh Jackman. Free Hugh Jackman. Let him openly fuck a man. Oh, he supposedly he was fucking Anthony. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay. You're not into that coupling. <laughs> no, I'm not into Anthony. <laughs> You're not into Anthony. Definitely not. Why? Not cool. Yeah. Not really cool. He was the cook, right? And the show. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, his food was super trash. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I'm just like not. No. I'm just. Okay. Like, last one. Last one. Okay, last, last one. Because people one, outside. Last, Sorry. Last uh, Selena and Benny Blanco. Well, I've known Benny forever. I know. Yeah, Benny I feel since, like you vote vibe. I've known Benny since he was like a, yeah. a child. Yeah. Um, and the thing about Benny Blanco is, is that like, like everyone's like, "What's she doing?" Like, like I look at. Like, I hate when people do I that. Look at the yeah. They're like, "What's she?" Do? I yeah. Mean, most of them are like, oh, they're from like Argentina. Right. They're obviously you know? like stupid. And the thing you've to understand is that like she's a celeb, and like most of the dudes she's dated are probably actual fucking dickheads. Yeah. That dude is so nice. He's a for real. And he's super fun. Yeah. And like, if you're her, and she's definitely, I think she's super hot now that she's on medication. Yeah. Like her, she's, she's just like kind of, she got thick on the meds. Yeah. Yeah. She looks great, I think. And she's like kind of unhinged. Like, yeah. With that soccer game being like, is anyone single? And <laughs> yeah. I was like, yes. Yeah. But he's super nice to her. They like, he's like microdosing mushrooms and being like, yo, does anyone want to like try this quiche I made? Yeah. The dude is a good time. <laughs> he's cool. He's having he's cool. a great fucking time. Yeah. He's not fuckable uh he you know what i'm saying like in the way that like she probably was doing before yeah but dude is just like, like he's good for her he's an amazing hang yeah and so like she's on some like i'm having a great time and yeah he's, and he's super nice to me like get off my dick. i'm into it super into i'm it. into it super josh into thank it. you for coming on i wish we had more time but you were 35 minutes late with a coffee there's so uh, <laughs> it was, it was and you should start a podcast really late though wait like four no, wait, more years no, no wait yeah. more years <laughs> just be like you guys a podcast and they're like this is the last podcast that will ever come out yeah <laughs> thank you that was amazing it.